Hey everybody, welcome to the channel for my first ever video. It's pretty exciting. I've um, never made any videos before playing Magic, so welcome. I'm going to start off the channel with some Vintage Hogak. Uh, it's my favorite Vintage deck. I, I like playing the straight, bizarre, Jund version. No Gaius Cradles or anything like that. Just I, I like having Stitcher Supplier and Bloodgast and just convoking Hogak as fast as possible. A lot of the people playing these decks nowadays are trimming the Hogax and putting Hex Drinkers in and they don't have any Stitchers and they might have Bloodgast or not, but I, I'm i not too much of a fan. I, I prefer to just get Hogak in. Uh, Hogak just wins games as soon as it enters a lot of the time. People just concede. So that's what I'm doing. I am playing four main deck Collector Oof because Collector Oof is a rock star in Vintage. Against all those crazy artifact decks, you get an Oof in, they just can't do anything. Same with Force of Vigor, it's kind of like my Force of Will since I'm playing green. They can play out a couple mocks in and then in response to their third mox in or whatever, I just Force of Vigor them. Bam, they're in the trash can. It at least can buy several turns of not being dead, which is kind of all you can ask for in Vintage. Oh yeah, hiding over here I have a Chalice. That's obviously best if I get to be on the play, but it's the same thing for all those artifact decks that play all the zero mana artifacts. Play Chalice, and that can just lock them out for long enough for me to kill them. Lotus Petal is kind of a newer adaptation to this deck that uh, I haven't played Vintage in maybe six months, and uh, the deck has changed a little. I originally, I think I was on three Stitchers as well myself, but I, I've played around with the number of Stitchers, Bloodgast, and DRS. The seven root wallas is always kind of staple. Collector oofs used to be sideboard, but they've migrated into the main board. They're just so good. When you're playing the Lotus Petal, Jet, Emerald, Lotus, you can turn one a Collector Oof like a reasonable amount of the time, and that just <laughs> wins games. Uh, Wastelands are for the Mirror. It can take out Talarian Academy, Urza Saga. After the sideboard games, it can take out Tabernacle. It, it, these are really important to have for the deck. The Lotus Petal was added by trimming a fetch land, which is the one weird thing that I want to keep an eye on. Fetch lands are great because they can fetch a Dryad Arbor, which can convoke a Hogak on turn two. That can come up. However, Lotus Petal also just puts itself in the graveyard for Delve. So if I'm like turn one in Collector Oof off of Lotus Petal and then turn two Stitcher Supplier, that could potentially just be a Hogak right there, thanks to Lotus Petal. So it's give and take, and I'll kind of keep an eye on that if I wish that I could fetch Dryad Arbor more. But I, I feel like it's the pedal being able to turn one and oof is going to outweigh the fetching of Dryad Arbor. That's, that's about it for the deck. It's pretty simple. Just use Bazaar of Baghdad, draw two cards, then discard three cards. This land does not tap for mana, as I'm sure all of you watching this know this. You just want to spin... Venge Vines and Root Wall is into the graveyard, get your Venge Vines to come out, cast some Hollow Ones after you discard those three cards because they cost zero. And then Hogak at the top end. The sideboard, the Archive Traps, I'll talk about that first, it's for Doomsday. After they cast Doomsday and resolve it, they have their five card library, hit them with the Archive Trap, they mill their deck. It's not my favorite thing in the world, but Doomsday is otherwise a pretty bad matchup unless they have a really slow start and I have a really fast start, it, like all the stars have to align. Otherwise, Doomsday just has a way of, they will cast Doomsday and then they'll get Probe and then they'll Gush and then they'll Black Lotus and then they just win right then on the spot. It seems to happen every time against, whenever I play against them. So uh, having something for that matchup, I think is reasonable on the sideboard. Uh, Ley Lines are for the Mirror, it's for Breach. Any other sort of graveyard-based deck, but mostly those two things. Same with Endurance. Endurance also comes in against Doomsday. Obviously, if they don't play around it, I can put cards back and then they don't win. Besiege comes in against Tinker. It comes in against any deck that I think might have Leyline of the Void. So it comes in almost every game. It could just be main deck, but we're trying it in the sideboard this time as well as Sudden Edict. This is a personal choice. I've never seen someone else run this, but I love it. Against those Tinker decks, when they get Sphinx of the Steel Wind, you Sudden Edict them, and Sphinx is just gone. They can't do anything. It, uh, it feels amazing when it works. And otherwise, it can just kind of 
make an opponent, if they're on like one of those Tarmogoyf strategies or like Hull Breacher strategies, you can edict that. It feels good. I, I like it. Dismembers didn't used to be on the board, but Initiative is a big part of the metagame now. So it's for that. It's for, again, those Tarmogoyf Hull Breacher strategies, stuff like that. Just if the opponent's playing a lot of creatures, bring in Dismember. It could also be for the Mirror, but I don't want to overboard for that matchup either. Pyroblast is for a lot of the blue decks, mainly like the Tinker decks and stuff. It's kind of obvious. Anything blue, we can hit their Recall, we can hit their PO, all that good stuff. I think that's it, so let's uh, get started and let's get into round one and hopefully we uh, do pretty well. Okay, we just got paired into round one and we won the die roll. Let's go. Okay, uh, Zero Lander. We have the Once Upon a Time, but I can't keep this in good conscience. Let's go to six. So I have a turn one oof plus DRS. I am tempted to keep this, and I am going to do so. Hogak, I think, is the put back here. Vengevine, as soon as I find a bazaar, I just spin that into the graveyard. Wasteland has a lot of good context. I could also just jam Vengevine, but I think oof, just playing the oof on turn one can really hurt a lot of decks. So let's do that, and let's get the Shaman in. Three power on turn one isn't <laughs> the best for this deck, but it's okay. Okay, they are probing me. Cool. Plays a Saga. So I don't know the metagame well enough to know all the Saga decks. I, I am just going to Wasteland this, actually. I was thinking about Force of Vigor, but that's an easy Wasteland. And I can just play the Rootwalla. So I'm just going to waste it right away. Bam. And then we're attacking for a reasonable amount of power here with the root wall the next turn. Okay, Underground C. They might be PO. I'm really not sure. I haven't played Vintage in quite a while, so. Okay, there's a Bayou. Um, so that means I can activate DRS, eating their Get Probe or their Preordain for two damage instead of attacking for one. So I'm going to do that. Activate the root walla, attacking for five, and then six, seven. So unfortunately, just shy of a two-turn clock. Play the bayou. Um, question is, do I do it now to make sure they can't like delve or something? Maybe. If I regret this later, we'll learn. Okay, they have a lotus, but they can't use it because of oof. That too. That as well. <laughs> Okay, Hoof was good here. That as well. So the question is, do they have a removal spell? And then are they going to go crazy? Okay, they just gave me a bunch of information. <laughs> so yeah, I know that Oof is good. Um, Pyroblast for sure. They are likely a Tinker deck, so the Sudden Edict will come in, as well as Besaidu. Uh I'll leave Dismembers in the board. Um until I see a reason to bring them in. So, Chalice, I like on the play a lot more than on the draw, but if they are PO, they want to pick them up and recast them. So Chalice, even on turn, even on the draw, is totally okay. So I'm going to trim a Hogak and a couple Stitchers. This is usually what I do, because I expect some Grave Hate and the Bloodgast. Maybe it's both Bloodgasts and keep a Stitcher. Because Stitcher is a lot easier to cast than the Bloodgast. And uh, hopefully we just find another turn one oof or something. Let's just try this. Okay, here we go. Um, I like the Wasteland since I saw that they're an Urza Saga strategy. But no oof or Force of Vigor. I can do better than this. I, of course, would like to find a Bazaar as well. Yep, let's take the Mulligan. They also Mulliganed. Okay, here's an oof. I can't play it on turn one, but I do have Vengevine double root wallow with the bazaar, so this is a pretty sweet start here. The question is, what do I put back? I want to keep the Force of Vigor just in case. I feel like putting that back would be a big punt. Putting back my only green source also hurts, and it's also my answer to Sphinx, but I think that is what I need to put back here. It's, it's what makes sense. I have the Vigor. 
and activating Bazaar will hopefully find me a green source. Okay, they have a top. Top go. Alright, I'm okay with that. Hey, we found a green source. That's awesome. I am just going to activate Bazaar here. And this looks pretty good. Yep, Vengevine, double root walla. We're going to get the Vengevine in. Unless they have surgical or something. Make sure we say yes to this. And let's go attack. Now the Shaman is the pitch card to force a bigger. I will happily do that. Okay, they have a Tabernacle. That sucks, but that is a risk we play, a risk that we take playing this deck. Um, this turn I can play the Stitcher and then I have a mana, hopefully getting closer to Hogak. Hopefully they kept a hand that's just kind of crappy but had Tab in it. Okay, another bazaar. I can try to find a wasteland by activating the bazaar, but I kind of just want to get my stitcher in there. I'm going to do that. Let's let's take it easy here. I still have vigor. Opponent's thinking about this. They might have missed up. If they force this, I'm happy with that. Yep, they do have the missed up. That makes sense. Now the question is, do I activate? Because I can throw away the redundant bazaar. That, that seems fine. Or I can throw away the DRS. As strange as it sounds, I might just hold for this turn. Sometimes playing patient pays off. I do feel fairly safe behind this Force of Vigor. Okay, the opponent has a Saga. That is a somewhat juicy Force of Vigor target. They are walking. I could fire it off. They could obviously tap to draw a card with top in response, but I could still destroy the Saga, and that would let make it so they don't get any constructs, and then they're only, they're stuck just drawing top. Um, if they do make constructs, they're stuck to paying for them under Tabernacle. If that was their best play, I don't mind slowing them down. Keep them off mana, keep them off constructs, a search, all of the above. If they play out a bunch of Moxin and P.O. here, then they'll make me look silly, but it seems okay to me. They have an Academy, only top for one. Soul Guide, that is annoying for me. They're going to take my Vengevine here, I'm sure, yep. Um, I could spin now, and hope if I hit like two Ruwalas, it would get in. Um, that seems a bit crazy. But do I even care about this extra bazaar in my hand? I think kind of not. I'm gonna do that. Maybe we'll get lucky. Negative. I'm probably gonna get stuck here. Not draw a mana source for the turn. It's all right. Okay, that's a good draw. <laughs> Just cast this for zero. I'm sure opponent is very unhappy to see that. And we're just chilling. They have three mana now, but they only have one card. Okay, just land go, one card in hand. Fine by me. Well, that insulates me against Sphinx. So that's nice. I'm just going to pass again. One of us will draw out of this eventually. Okay, they are passing. Another oof. I mean, that's cool. Once I do find a mana source, if they force the first one, I have a next. I have another one. I could activate Bazaar here and just discard the redundant oof. But I'm I'm just straight up discarding the two cards that I draw. So, if I do find a mana source, I would have to get rid of also the edict or something. So I, I'm not going to do that. The opponent is cracking that to draw. Wow. Okay. <laughs> they left me with cards to delve Hogak later. They are spinning. That That's what I thought they were going to do in the first place. Opponent could easily find a Tinker here. And I'm actually hoping that they go for Sphinx and that I find a Mana Source. Okay. 
Opponent is going to Needle Bazaar here for sure. Since the Lantern is gone, it is tempting to just activate in response, but I'm just going to let it happen. They might need a Wasteland if they're about to play a Saga, but it's probably Bazaar. Yes, it is Bazaar. A Lavinia, okay. Since Bazaar is off, I don't care too much. That doesn't let me cast Hogak, but Root Wallas don't matter. Okay, Hollow One is not the best draw here. I'm just passing. They do have to pay for that. Okay, the clock is ticking now. And that's a good one. Um, yeah, I'm gonna fire that off on their upkeep, hitting the needle in the saga. It's spinning, yep. Oh, I don't have a stop set quickly. Okay. Yeah, this isn't my main computer, so my stops I just noticed. And they're doing something in the insta- oh, hole breacher, okay. Yeah, that also keeps me off of really using Bazaar. That's a bit rough. That card is always rough. That's a reason to bring in Dismembers. So, oh, I can't force a Vigor because of Lavinia. Okay, well, things are looking bad. Wow, this is a lot of oofs. This game is over, I think. They're gonna make a construct, it's pretty large. I think it's pretty safe to concede in this spot. So, now that I've seen Hull Breachers, and Lavinia for what it's worth, Dismember I think comes in. Lavinia makes Hogak worse. I didn't see any Ley Lines or anything like that, just the uh, Soul Guide Lantern. I usually just reach for the Stitchers. Hogak is so good if I can get it in play. But if I can't, then obviously it's not. Yeah, I'm just gonna continue down that path and just get some dismembers. Try like that. Still have one Hogak. I get one on the play now. So I do have the Bazaar, I do have a Dismember, I have a Pyroblast. Once upon a time, I'm not going to go to 6 when I have a hand like this. Okay, they do have a Ley Line, but I have the Besage I just have to get there. So it's Once Upon a Time. There's my green source. That is the obvious thing to get, I think. I could just uh, hold up Pyroblast. Yep. Soul Ring, yep. Ooh. I am afraid. So, don't have anything in the end step. I'm just going to try to hold up Pyroblast forever. Now, the question is do I play Bizarre? Probably not while there's a ley line. I'm, I'm gonna just float wasteland and I'll besage you in their end step unless they make me do something else. Okay, there is a hull breacher. Same plan still, but then I'm gonna follow it up with a dismember. Okay, this is kind of a juicy pyroblast. I think it's worth it. Like, I want to save Pyroblast for Tinker, but Recall is just an insane card. And it resolved. Okay, they're going to get in for three. Well, I, now I could just dismember now. I think I will. So I, I need that out of play for sure. I could untap, besage you, and then play Bizarre and activate right away. Okay, there's a lantern. Okay, they're cracking that immediately, so I was thinking maybe besaging the ley line didn't matter too much since um, they had the lantern now, but now that it's gone, 
Let's see what we draw. Okay, that's pretty cool. So if I besage you, use Bazaar. Wasteland will be my discard out of these cards, and then I keep the Vigor. And then on their upkeep, I can hit Soul Ring Ruby, I guess. I don't think they have any main deck like green cards. Let's find something good here. Uh, that's not very good. I think just Force of Vigoring them is still the way to go. I suppose they could PO in response, so this might be pretty bad. Okay, okay, I'm fine with that. It wasn't PO in response. Trying to learn this format. It's hard. I'm going to activate... Oh, I meant to activate in my upkeep. And then I'm just going to activate now. There's a Venge Vine. That's cool. Wasting their Tundra is a little bit tempting, but I want to save it for a Saga or a Tabernacle. Or an Academy. They have a lot scarier lands. Okay, they're pondering. Maybe I can find an Oof. That would be nice. Mentor, yikes. So now, <laughs> wasting their Tundra might have been good. Okay. Some pretty bad hits. Yep. Um, does it matter? I'm just going to play it out. Yeah, I'm going to die pretty quick to the Mentor here. Wasting the Tundra obviously would have kept them off that, but this is like a restricted card. I, I don't think wasting the Tundra would be correct when they have all like sagas and stuff like that. Oh dear. They're probably going to just get Citadel since they have Mentor. Yep. Okay, there, there's like no way that they lose here. Good game. Let's uh let's bring it back in round two. Alright, let's get started with round two. This is a great hand. Wow. Opponent would have to have something insane. They could like turn one me or something, but if they have any sort of fair start. Okay, Chancellor of the Annex. Um I don't care too much. The root walla can get countered, and then I just play hollow one, hollow one, venge mine comes out. Okay, so that it looks like they are. Oops. That's actually scary. This uh, <laughs> this hand is crazy. But if they turn, they might turn to me. They might turn one me. Oh my goodness gracious, they're doing it. Wow. Okay. I think I don't have any main deck outs to this. Um, yeah, being on the draw is a big deal here. If I could have turned one oofed on the play, that would have really hurt them. I think I just concede to hide information because they're just going to pop it on their turn. That's it. GG. Yeah, wow. Good start. This is going to be the shortest match in history. So the Ley Lines come in for sure. The Pyro Blasts, because I saw Recall. Dismember, I don't think makes sense. They uh, are not often going to put the dude into play like that and not pop it. They don't know what I am, so I don't expect counter hate. Chalice is great. Vigor, I can hit a Chrome Mox in response to the imprint. Um, Shaman is like... I could I could use it in response to like clear the Thassa's Oracle. I, I'm assuming that that's how they win is Thassa. Yeah, I just need to bring in a ton of hate. It's always the Hogak and the Stitchers. They're, they're great game one, but they can just kind of come out and then I can play the Venturine Hollow in game game two. Maybe just one Pyroblast. Because I'm sure they have Pact of Negation. I'm not sure how much the Pyroblast makes sense. 
but it's better than nothing. I basically just want to lock them out with oof, ley line vigor, just make it so they can't win. Yeah, let's try it. Okay. Hard cast force of vigor. I have so much hate, I can find a more hateful hand than this. It's only force. Okay, here's an oof, but it's not turn one. The opponent is certainly going to mulligan to the fastest hand possible because that's what that deck does. If they let me have a second turn, the oof could get in, but they might also just have force or whatever. I need something turn one. Uh, we are not getting rewarded at all. If Once Upon a Time finds an oof, we have turn one oof. I really don't want to go to four. Yeah, this sucks, but that is where we're at. I think the Root Walla goes back. Hollow ones are better than Root Walla, I think. I don't want to go to four. There's the oof, okay. All right, we're, we're not like dead immediately. They might just force, but if they do that, then you know, they, they have it, whatever. They could also just like have a double dark ritual hand. And if so, I'm in the trash, but that, that deck just cheeses people out, is what it is. They are just passing as they do sometimes. We're gonna attack. And that's all I got this turn. I could cycle Hollow One. That does like attempt to find more hate, but I'm going to fetch Dryad Arbor to attack for more. They discarded a Pact. Okay, there's a Root Walla. I could play that. That attacks for three on following turns. I have a feeling they're just gonna win through Oof, like any any turn now, but. This is all we've got. Okay, uh, never mind. Yep, turn one oof, holds up. So now they know what we're playing. So maybe Paseju comes in. Where'd it go? Uh, it went over here. For like the Bloodgast. And I think I still don't really like Dismember. I think this just makes the most sense. All right, let's get a nice hateful seven. How about it? Playline, plus Force of Vigor, something like that. Uh, there, there it is. <laughs> so yeah, I'm keeping seven. They also kept seven, that's terrifying. Okay. There's a pedal. They're gonna just do something here, despite the ley lines. They're just putting that in play. Okay. Making me wish that I had, uh, whatchamacallit, Dismember. It would, it'd be messed up if they had Thassa in hand and just pop it, exile their whole deck and cast it. Um, do I Vigor the Black? Maybe? Because that's their Dark Ritual mana. Tough to say. Um, I want to keep the Venge Vine. Maybe that's silly because I can hard cast the Root Walla easily. That Force Vigor might be premature as well, but I'm not sure. Uh, okay, Bazaar's a great draw. If I'm not dead, this is what I need anyway. Ooh, Endurance. Okay. Wow. Now that... The question is, do I hold Endurance Green card when I already have two Ley Lines? Maybe. Or do I just try to push damage? Yeah, this is this is brutal. I, I need to get something on the board. So if they make me wish I had Endurance, um... Oh well. If they're forcing a Hollow one, I feel good. That That is... That's good. Are they going to try to beat me down with this? They have one card in hand. They are. So they're looking for... Do they have green for Force of Vigor as well? Or what? I have no idea. Okay, this is nice. 
Now do I spin and hope to hit root wallas? That would get rid of this. I'm just gonna pass for a turn. Okay, that's cool. I'm not at risk of dying to combat anytime soon, so I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna chill, draw another card, and then I can use Bazaar and keep this. Seems like they're thinking about something. Okay, a Taiga. I am just gonna activate, holding up my pitch spells. Ooh. They really didn't like the first one. <laughs> Do I go down on my pitch spell once again to get a hollow one into play? I'm gonna keep Endurance. I think Vigor doesn't matter since I have the Chalice. This gets rid of uh, pitch casting it for the turn, but I need to get a creature into play. They, they hated the first one enough to force it, so that tells me something. Oh my god, they're forcing another one. Alright, let's go. If they somehow chew me out <laughs> with this Undercity Informer, that would be insane. But surely I'll get a creature into play. Okay, I'm going to spin. That's bad. No root wallas. Come on, one of these turns I'll hit a root walla or two. That represents arbor, but it doesn't matter too much. Let's just activate yeah we're we're getting pretty bad hits here with the bazaar a shaman let's go ruwalas let's go at this point, I'm about to just play the second Bazaar and activate it, too. Things are getting desperate. Please. Thank you. Thank you. And no surgical in response from the opponent. That's great. I can still take hits from them, so I am going to attack. Absolutely. Now if they somehow just combo me, <laughs> it is what it is. Now, do I save two damage? Is it four, eight, nine, ten? I'm att attacking for lethal even with just with the Venge Binds. So I'm going to just put this in front of this. Oh, no, I don't want to activate. I want to block. Let's just do that. Only go to six. I don't know. They might have something crazy. They might just be attacking for fun. I don't know. They're targeting me. I think they're just doing this for fun. Yeah, okay. Good game, that was weird. That, I guess that happens against oops when you have hate. All right, yeah, let's go to round three. All right, let's go for round three. We are on the play, I love that. Yes. Wow, oh, <laughs> this is a hand, all right. Uh, I'm gonna keep. Uh, we do have the once upon a time. At the very least, we have turn one Oof and Rootwalla through the Lotus. 
it's uh it's interesting oof does tend to be really good i can't say otherwise i think ooh so i could take the drs and then play that instead of the root wallet but i do like making a land drop yeah i'm going to make a land drop so land drop cast black lotus Let's crack it for green. I'm gonna lead on the root walla. Maybe they'll force this or something. Nope. And let's play the oof. And hopefully they're an artifact deck. I still have force green card. If they answer the oof, if it even matters, if they just play bizarre here and go crazy, then um, I'm scared. <laughs> Okay, Get Probe, so Oof is probably good here. Still could be a bizarre deck playing a Get Probe. I don't know. The All Polluted Delta, go. All right. How about a land? Uh, all right. Well, if we do find a bizarre, uh, then we're feeling okay. We're attacking for three, so it's not bad. Oof is most likely holding them back. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. They're doing something in step. I just hope it's not recall. Okay, it's mystical. That's probably mystical for the recall. I am not gonna just strip mine their underground sea. It's plow. Okay, yeah, now I'm really, really not gonna strip mine the underground sea because I wanna find a green source and then play my second oof. They do have to work through the oofs and the force. They're just going for it. And here comes some artifacts. Yikes. Oh, Vigor does not really help against those. Okay, they're Emergent Scrolling for Ancestral. Okay, they're drawing through cards. They are walking. Yep. And they're just passing. I, I'm okay with that. Let's find a green source. Come on. A uh, black source. At least that puts Stitcher into play. Maybe find a Hogak? No. Whole lot of nothing. Okay, so that's a target for strip mine. I'll go to my turn before I make that decision, but I'm probably just gonna strip that. So Hollow One is just gonna hang out in my hand for a bit. If we can find a bazaar, that's great. I think the obvious decision is to kill the saga. I don't want them making tokens. Top deck Hogak I can cast. So we've got plenty of good draws here. Oh, the speak of the devil. Yeah, that's uh that's what I'm gonna do for sure. Um just in case they have DRS. Get rid of the lands for sure. And then one, two, three, four, five. I can leave. Just the hollow one. They can gain life off of that potentially, but I think I prefer that to the other options. <clears throat> so now they have to beat Hogak and Force of Vigor. They might find another plow here or something. Breach? Okay, well, I can force a Vigor that. They're going to get an Ancestral on the way through. They are casting the Lotus. Um, I believe right now is the time to just use it. 
Uh, yeah, that's just the one target. And they can do some stuff in response here, unfortunately, but this at least will slow it down. Oh no, okay. Um, I'm not sure if they have an infinite here. No, no, no. We'll see what they can do. Okay, they have the brain freeze, so this is an infinite. All right, so their breach combo. They found that just in time. So the ley lines are good against that. Um, Viseju, the pyroblasts. I don't know if this deck is also a tinker deck. I have no idea. Um, Endurance can mess them up. Do this. DRS function is as some grave hate. This is just. We're bringing in a ton of hate, so I think that's just the way to go. I have no idea if Dismember makes sense in this matchup. I didn't see any creatures. Collector Oof is definitely an all star. I think I am going to keep one Hogak for a Rootwalla. Hogak does pitch to Force of Vigor, and he is my biggest threat. Okay. Let's get it going. Another Black Lotus hand with Leyline, Pyroblast, Force. This is really hateful. Um, <clears throat> no Bizarre in sight, but I am going to keep it just due to all the hate. So I'm going to play the land, I'm going to cast the Lotus, and I'm just going to hold up my interaction. If they play out any other artifact, I can vigor this and whatever they have. Yeah, if not, I'm just gonna hang out. Okay, just gonna pass again. Lavinia. I think this is worth a Pyroblast. It might fish out a force. Yeah. And now I'm not going to pitch cast Vigor because I can hard cast it now that I'm not holding up Pyroblast anymore. I could also hard cast a Venge Vine, um, but there's a Bazaar. So since I have the double Venge Vine in my hand already, um, Let's just hard cast and see if it resolves. It did resolve. Okay, this is uh, this is looking okay. Right, there's an oof for later. Venge vine, venge vine. I'll throw away the redundant bazaar. It's okay. We get a hollow one, and we have this to follow up with if we find a mana source. There's a good chance they just managed to work through Leyline and still just kill me, but that's vintage. Okay, they're just value time walking. Oh no, are they just gonna have Vault Key just straight from hand? Not yet, not yet, okay. Now, Mana Source for Oof would be huge. That's not a mana source for oof. I am gonna just pass. I could have spun, just hoping that I hit uh, root wallows, but I want to have an extra card in my hand so that I can activate looking for a mana source. Okay, we're getting lucky here. They're not doing anything crazy. Okay, we're definitely activating. Let's find a land. <laughs> uh, deck, the deck is being funny. We, okay, we found a land, but it doesn't work this turn. Hmm. 
Now we just have to fade one more turn of them going crazy. Oh no. Bolting the Dryad Arbor, okay. Fair enough. Okay, we're in the market for drawing a land again. Please, 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 deck. That works. As long as they could counter this, but they could also counter the oof. Let's see it resolve. Come on. Now they have something. Hard cast force. Okay. Now we're activating this. We're looking for a root walla that'll get venge vines in. Nope, but we have another venge vine in the yard. Fine. They only have one card in hand, but they have the vault in play. That's so very scary. Let's see what happens. Another land drop, another pass. Okay, now do I activate on the upkeep? I think so. Wow, double wasteland. Okay, well, I'm glad I'm not drawing that. Okay, that's good. That's really good. That might win this game. They're giving themselves the best shot, but they need to get through Oof and Leyline. Okay, a Saga. Which can't make constructs yet. I am gonna just do this. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, I'm just gonna attack. I think they're just dead. Yep. Okay, now we have to win one on the draw. We saw Lavinia. I think I'm a little bit interested in at least just getting Sudden Edict in the deck. I don't want to trim too many Root Wallas, and I think Shaman, using Shaman as Grave Hate, I mean, it is, it is a very realistic thing to expect out of it. It is what the card does. Pyroblast came into play that game. Endurance. Endurance does stop them from going crazy with Breach, so I think I do want it for sure. I have seen gameplay where people trim the Dry Darber for the Viseju. I'm gonna try that. And then do I want the Edict or the Dismember? I think it's the Edict. Dismember is 3 CMC if I'm going to try to target Lavinia. So I'd need 3 lands. This is interesting. I can just hard cast Vengevine and DRS. There's not really any hate, but it doesn't care about a, an opponent, opponent's ley line. But I also don't have any like oof or vigor or whatever. And they are like a combo deck. After turn one, DRS does function as Grave Hate, but I'm not too sure how much that really matters. I think I'm gonna mulligan. Okay, this is a turn one oof, so I like it. Um, I'm gonna put one of the Root Wallas back and hang on to Hollow One for when I find a Bazaar. I could just put the Hollow One away since I could actually hard cast Root Walla and pump it. I like that. <laughs> Double ley line, let's go. That means their hand is two cards smaller than other otherwise be, would be. Now the question is, do I lead on Rootwalla as like a bait, or do I just jam oof? Another hollow one. Um, I think I'm going to lead on Rootwalla as bait, and then they're going to hopefully take the bait and then next turn I can play oof as long as I'm not dead immediately okay they did not take the bait but I can still just jam it next turn um, that didn't mean either means they don't have anything or they just don't care about root walla which would be I think an accurate assessment and if they just combo off right now uh, 
I feel bad about not trying to play Oof. But they did keep a hand with two ley lines, so like their hand would hopefully be worse than it otherwise. So there's a tinker. So they're gonna tinker. I hope they get Sphinx. They did. Okay, that's great. That's fantastic. I am I am just thrilled to see that. <laughs> So, yeah, we need to just clear this. Get it out. I'm going to attack for a measly one, but they only have one card in hand, and I'm going to follow up with an oof. A land would be nice. Then I can oof and still pump. Heck yeah. In for three. Now we're gonna get in for five and we're gonna play the other Rootwalla. Okay, they're needling something. They might needle the Rootwalla, that's kind of funny. No, they still needled Bazaar. That, I think that makes sense, but um, they are just gonna keep taking threes from these Rootwallas. They're gonna take five. Still one card in hand over there. I'm feeling pretty good. So they're gonna I'm gonna put them to three this turn. That's pretty sweet. I'm gonna attack first. Should have needled blazing root walla. <laughs> Cast this for zero. All right, we did it. Let's go. Two and one. Let's go to round four. Hey, everyone. We're three rounds into the video now. If you've made it this far, please give me a like and please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it and it will help my channel grow. Let's get back into round four. All right, let's get started in round four. We're against Lord of Life Gain over there. I hope that's not true. <laughs> mm, this hand is interesting. If the Once Upon a Time finds a bazaar, it's pretty decent. Otherwise, we're kind of not doing anything. I think I'm gonna mulligan because there's no guarantee this hand actually goes anywhere. I might end up just sitting here. This really would be one of those risk it for the biscuit type of hands. I really I can't guarantee that once upon a time we'll find the bazaar in the top five at all. I'm gonna mull. Uh, this one is better. No bazaar, but I have Stitcher, Rootwalla that I can cast, or I can cast Oof on turn two. It seems okay. Now. I think Hollow One goes back because I'm. There's no way I'm finding a bazaar unless I just rip it off the top. So. That seems like the obvious put back. Hopefully, Oof is good in the matchup. Blue deck, so it looks like it might be. And leading on the basic feels good. Okay, they're just ancestraling. Awesome. A backup oof, that's cool. So here comes Stitcher. Let's find some good stuff. They're thinking. If they have the misstep, but I don't see why they wouldn't just do it. Force would be a bit aggressive. They are forcing, pitching a NAR set. Okay. Yeah, I didn't miss like a Yorion or a Luris reveal or anything. Just gonna have six. Okay, now unfortunately I don't have two green sources or two red sources to play both Oof and Arutwala. Playing the jet 
plays around days. So I'm going to do that. And I think Oof is the best thing that I can cast here. They haven't played any artifacts, but these decks always at least have some mocks in. It's looking like it's uh, Bug Control, probably Planeswalkers. I'm sure they have uh, Oko and stuff, just hopefully they don't jam Oko right now. That's always difficult to deal with. Okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. I should be able to beat a Goyf. And no land drop from them. Okay, Petal I can't use. Therefore, I'm just going to keep it in my hand. I'm going to play the Blazing. That is cheaper to activate to pump. Not attacking into their Goyf. Keeping Petal in hand gives me a card to discard if I do find a Bazaar. Okay, they have the Shaman. They are not attacking. That seems wise on their part. Okay, land is good. So once again, I don't have two green sources. Backup oof seems pretty good. And leaving this up, I can still pump the root wallet if they do attack. Unfortunately, now they have the three mana because of DRS. But they are not jamming Oko. It's lucky for us. Another Mox. Okay, this is, a, this is a bit rough. Let's just keep casting Lizards. Snap Recall is pretty disgusting. I could get my own DRS, that would be nice. Hollow one. I'm really tempted to just cycle this. Although, what am I really looking for? Obviously a bazaar, but I want this in hand if I do find a bazaar. I'm just going to pass again. This is rough, because they could dig out of this at any moment. They have so much card draw. Oh no, that's terrible. And there it is. So I'm going to turn off the yield. I think I'm going to block and pump. Um, it's really the best use of my Ruwala here. Yeah, this game looks very bad. Okay, I'm just going to save us the time. It wasn't the worst start, but it was just slow. And against that deck, they're going to do better than us in a long game. So I definitely want dismembers. I saw the main deck Hull Breachers. Chalice stays in because we're going to be on the play. Just do the normal thing. Stitcher, a Hogak, a couple Blood Ghasts, maybe two Hogaks. Just keep the one for a whole bunch of removal and we'll see how it goes. I'm kind of interested in trimming like Root Wallas and keeping another Stitcher and a Hogak, but I'm not sure if that would be good or not. Maybe Oof isn't really very good in the matchup, but they do have Moxen. Like, do something like this. So Oof is a lot better in those like combo matchups, like jewel shops and stuff. PO. We got on the play this time. It's another weird little slow hand. If they have a ley line, we don't have an answer. Mono colorless lands. Uh, this is a mall for sure. Uh, this one looks better. So Force answers a ley line if they have it. Once upon a time can find a bizarre Swamp casts things, so does Bayou. So I think it's the Swamp, and then Bayou would just be my land. It seems like the best put back. So found a hollow one, but no bizarre in sight. I think it's just the Lizard. This is gonna end up being just a slow little Lizard game again which I don't like. They did have the misstep. So I could dismember their Shaman, but I think I need to save dismember for their uh, Goyfs and their Hull Breachers, stuff like that. Missing a land drop here sucks. 
Yeah, the, we're not looking good. This looks bad. Now, the question is if I want to just use this member now. I think I still want to save it. I don't know. We might not find lands. Oh, it's doing that thing where it used the black mana. Cancel. Stop it. Okay. Thank you, deck. We're not completely out of it. Redundant oof, I think, can go back. It's kind of looking like I don't need Force of Vigor. Maybe it's just both oofs, but I don't know. I prefer Shaman over the oof. Okay, they're not immediately wastelanding me, so that's cool. Yet another oof. I can. They didn't make a land drop, so I'm probably going to strip mine their trop, but I'm going to activate first. Hmm. Their DRS, unfortunately, makes a mana. Next turn, I can get my own in and then uh, just kind of hold the fort whenever they try to make mana with theirs, but. Yeah, I, I don't feel good about this at all. Abrupt decay, okay. Just hoping they miss a land drop. Yeah, if they just play Ancestral from hand again, okay. That's uh, not Ancestral, but it's still pretty bad for us. Great, all right. That's nice, but I do want to get my Shaman in play. And yet another Force of Will, okay. Alright, let's see something good here, please. Well, there's a Vengevine, but nothing else. We're just dead. Yeah, this was terrible. We, we just had some really bad hands. I should have probably went to 5, but... Yeah. Okay, we just got our pairing for round five and hopefully we can get the three and two i want to make my play points back <laughs> that's what i want we're on the draw so chalice isn't as good as it otherwise would be once upon a time finding any land is pretty decent here i am gonna keep i'm gonna, gonna continue the theme of keeping sketchy hands that last round against bug i i think in the past when i played this deck it felt like bug was one of the worst matchups and I think that's still true. And hopefully they don't just turn one combo me right now. Time walk, okay, at least it's not a tinker. So they appear to be some sort of PO or breach or something. I don't know which ones play basic island. I think some PO decks in the past have played basic island, but I don't know. Of course, um, yep. These guys just always have it <laughs> in their hand. Awesome. Um, so obviously lead on once upon a time. We just found the Badlands. That's our only land. If I get Swamp, I can cast Bloodgasts, which will then lead to Convoking Hogak. Otherwise, Taiga casts Oof. But so does the Lotus Petal. I'm going to use the Lotus Petal to cast Oof this turn and lean into having double black. So I'm going to play the Petal first. Maybe I should have played a land first for days. I don't know. Um, I'm going to lead on Oof and see if they like force or whatever and then play Chalice. So play basic Swamp, green, and whatever. There it is. It's in. Okay, that's good. And lead it up with this. Okay. Lose the flip. Lose the flip. They won the flip. The old brainstorm. They've done really well at drawing restricted cards this game. That's four restricted cards. <laughs> 
So if I play Stitcher, that mills three, so that's five, and then six, seven, that is casting Hogak, if it all resolves. That is what I'm gonna try to do. Dryad Arbor, okay. Um, I'm gonna play the Badlands just to play around days. I don't know if these decks play days, but I'm used to playing around days from Legacy. Okay, Root Walls in the Graveyard. I, yeah, I don't really care about delving those away, so. Let's go. Eleven power in play. It's pretty good. I'll put them to three, and then if they lose their Crypt Flip, they die. It's going to be hard for them to win through Oof and Chalice. Okay, yeah. So that feels good. We won game one. That's what. That's really what our deck wants to do is win game one. So they look like some sort of PO thing. Um, I'll bring in the Edict and leave the Dismembers away. Thing is, I don't know if they're Breach, so I don't know if I want the Endurance, but I'm just going to sideboard the four cards here. So Oof is obviously really good in this matchup, so I'm not going to take it out like last game. Same with Chalice of the RPO, especially. Go to two Hogax, trim the Bloodgasts, I guess. I can try it like that. In that game, the Lotus Petal showed up, and like what I was talking about in the deck tech, it uh, put itself in the graveyard to delve Hogak. That is like exactly what we want to see. This hand is great. It's awesome. If they have a Ley Line, we're going to have to hang out and try to find an answer, but I can just lead on like Wasteland, and uh, that way it can turn to Bizarre, and then if they play Tabernacle, I can just waste it. So let's go for Once Upon a Time, another Wasteland, also the Hogue Hack. Backup Bizarre is pretty nice as well. I'm tempted to just strip mine their Swamp and just try to go slow, but they are gonna just accumulate more mana, most likely. Just the fact that they only played Mana Vault in the past just has me thinking that they are hurting. Man, having a Hogak in the mix here seems pretty darn good. I'm taking the backup Bazaar. Um, and I am gonna strip mine their Swamp just because I have the Redundant Wasteland. If they just play island here and just go crazy, then uh, oh well. I still want to wait until I have like a wasteland sitting in play for when I play bizarre, because tabernacle is just such a blowout. Okay, they do have another land, and they have moxen. Okay, they're just passing, feeling okay. Another hollow one. That's gonna be great, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it the slow route. Slow and safe. Tabernacle getting a three for one, or three for zero really, is uh, atrocious when that happens. And they have the top to look for it. You just have to hope they don't just completely combo off this turn. And then I get power in play at least. I could also just jam oof. They have PO now. That's uh, scary. Okay. Seeing that, I'm definitely going to jam oof if I get another turn. I probably should have just not bothered strip mining their swamp. Okay, Thoughtseize. So they're probably going to take my oof. Hopefully this is just the best thing they can do right now. Yeah, there it goes. Academy, that's terrifying. They have another PO. Okay, that's uh... That smells like a little bit of desperation. They just spun, so they know what's there. Yogg. Um, just thinking about like wasting the academy or something, but it doesn't matter at this point. So they get to keep going. They're only going to have one blue mana, which is enough for Tinker. They're going to Needle Bazaar here, most likely. Mm-hmm. Okay, they're repealing again. Uh, that'll do it. Yep. Okay, so now I know that they for sure are PO, so I definitely don't need Dismembers, but I'm going to keep the Edict just in case they have a Tinker for Sphinx. 
Oof is going to be the best thing I can have. Same with Vigor. Uh, Chalice. Now I'm on to play. I don't think I changed my sideboard plan at all. Just go back in. Uh, this hand is very reasonable. Yeah. I'm going to keep. So if I play Bizarre, activate, draw two, discard those two cards, and the basic swamp, and then I have Taiga to cast the oof next turn. Leading on Once Upon a Time gets rid of my pitch card, although I could find another one. The alternative is I just play Taiga, holding up Force of Vigor, and then next turn play oof. Just try to stop them from winning that way. Because if I'm activating Bizarre this turn, all I'm doing is putting Hollow One into play. And then maybe I draw two Rootwalla, or like a Rootwalla or something. Best thing would be a Rootwalla and a Pinchvine, but I can't guarantee that. And if I have to discard my Swamp, that takes me off of guaranteed casting Oof. So I want to prioritize getting the oof in. If they don't make me Force of Vigor, then I'll use Once Upon a Time. There's their land drop. Okay, that's not on yet. So that is a target for Force. Um, okay, I'm not going to do it on just one target, though. I'm going to draw first. Maybe I'll draw a green card. It's not a green card, but that's okay. Um... Now, do I once upon a time, or do I just play oof and keep that as a pitch? I think my hand is about as good as it gets. I, if I'm once upon a timing, what am I even looking for? Just another green card. So I'm just going to play this. They do have the force. Oh, they're deciding whether to, whether to do it or not. Seagate Restoration. That's an easy pitch for them. Okay, so now they're going to play out artifacts most likely, and I can fire this off. Yep, now the question is, on the next one, do I just hit Opal Emerald and call it a day? Maybe, probably. They are down to three cards in hand. Okay, they did not do it. They have three mana, because this isn't on. So I don't think I use this yet. I'm just going to continue holding. There's another one. That's cool. So I'm going to activate Bizarre for sure. Rootwalla. I think it's just land and the once. I can keep the Edict in case they tinker for Sphinx. And I get Hollow One in. Okay, they're just passing again. I'm just going to continue holding Force of Vigor up. That is a green card. It pitches to Vigor. But I could also just discard it. Um, I'm going to do that. Okay. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm insulated against Tabernacle already. So I'm just going to throw these in the trash. I am going to pump the Rootwalla this turn, try to just get him dead. Maybe that means that Flusterstorm gets me when it wouldn't have otherwise. I'm just going to do this. It resolved, so that's good. But now they have a bunch of mana still. But this sacrifices itself. They can't PO with the two lands and the one green. They would need one more. Yogmoth's will, perhaps? Another opal, it's not on yet. DT for Yogg, I guess, and then they just play out this stuff again. They get a brainstorm. Or it could be DT for Tinker, and just Tinker this away. Okay, hopefully they get Sphinx. Please get Sphinx, get Sphinx, get Sphinx. Yes, all right, this is the sudden edict tech, I'm telling you, it's so good. They're gonna scream. We won't hear it, but they're going to scream. Every time I play against Tinker and they get Sphinx and I find this, it just feels like incredible. Uh, just do it now so I can attack. Sacrifice that, please. <laughs> oh. Hey. 
Okay, three and two. Yeah, I, I'm happy with that. We get our play points back. I apparently got a qualifier point. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, that that's uh that's the end of this league and my first video ever. So uh, I plan on making more after this. Um, I am gonna play some Legacy as well. I play Cloud Post mainly in Legacy. Maybe I'll get a rent account if I start making a lot of videos. So final thoughts on the deck. Um, I ended up liking the Lotus Petal. I think that should definitely stay in the deck. Um, no questions asked. I didn't really miss the fetch lands too much. There were times where I wished that I could find more mana. Some of that was probably me just playing suboptimally, keeping suboptimal hands, discarding suboptimal cards with Bizarre. There, there's a lot of things to think about with this deck, really. Um, the Shaman did not come up much in the league, but it is a good card. Um, I think it's in the deck for a reason. I'm not going to reach for that to cut anything. Um, I still like Stitchers a lot. I think three is a good number. I don't think I want four. Um, that may be pushing it, but the turn one Stitcher starts can be actually really good, so maybe. Um, I've seen a list on the top eight websites that someone was playing for Stitcher for Bloodgast, um, and they didn't have as many, they didn't have the oofs main, and they only had like two Force of Vigors main. I don't know about all that, but maybe I could trim a, like an oof for a Stitcher, or two oofs for Stitcher and a Bloodgast or something, go faster in game one. Oof game one on the play, <laughs> turn one can win games, but so can like a crap ton of power uh hard to say because it, it's not good in every single matchup it's only good in a lot of the matchups i'll think about it i might try something like that next time the archive traps didn't come up because we didn't play against doomsday that's just gonna happen that could be just what i cut and move two oofs to the side i just that that's the odd one out here and doomsday we can just kind of accept as sort of a bad matchup and hope that we can just punch them quicker than they can do their thing that's all the thoughts i really have it was just only those couple little tweaks. I like the chalice a lot. I like having multiple hogax. I don't, I still think people that are trimming hogax are crazy. Yeah, that's it. So, uh, hope to see you next time on the channel. I'll be playing some more of this deck for sure, and I'll probably be playing some legacy cloud post in the future. So, thank you.